Stock exhaust on your F-150? Well, that's just not very much fun. Hi, I'm Justin with Summit Racing, and I'm here to show you how to install the Borla Attack Catback Exhaust System on your 2015 and up F-150. So out of all the aftermarket exhausts available, why did we choose this one in particular for our F-150? We opted for the Borla Attack Exhaust System because it's use of 304 stainless throughout for superior corrosion resistance and durability. The system features mandrel bent tubing, with perforated tube mufflers with a straight through multi-core design. Most importantly, the attack systems deliver that aggressive note we're looking for, loud, rowdy, and distortion free. And the installation process is relatively simple. So let's get started. We're gonna start off our install with removal of the stock exhaust. And the first step in that is to loosen this clamp. After loosening the clamp, then you're gonna to wanna to remove the rubber isolator. Next, you're going to unbolt and remove the rubber isolator bracket. We're going to go ahead and remove these two flange bolts. So after loosening the flange here in the front, it'll give you the ability to rotate the exhaust and get the nub out of the notch. Then, you and a friend should be able to slide back the whole muffler and remove it from the vehicle. So we went ahead and laid everything out so you can see what it looks like before we put it in the truck. After the stock exhaust is removed, then you need to remove the spare tire. We're going to start off by putting in our front muffler assembly. Make sure to leave the bolts a little loose so you can fit the rest of your exhaust. Next, we're gonna install the mid pipe. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and install these rear exhaust hangers utilizing the rear factory shackle bolt. You're gonna to wanna to repeat this step on both sides. Next, we're gonna go ahead and install the front tailpipe assembly. Next, we're going to go ahead and install our rubber isolators. A trick for these is to throw a little lube on them to get them to slide on better. Now it's time to install the right side tailpipe. Next, we're going to install the rear crossover tube. Now it's time to install our final piece, the driver's side tailpipe. We're going to go ahead and install the supplied heat shield on the factory differential breather. So once you have everything aligned, go ahead and tighten all the clamps and torque them to spec.
we finished up the install of our Barla Attack exhaust system. So let's go for a drive and see how it sounds. I'm here to show you how to install the Borla with multi-core. After loosening the clamp, then you're gonna. After the stock exhaust is removed, then you need to. We're gonna start off by putting in our front. Next, we're gonna.